Well, we may not be meeting in person, but it doesn't mean you get away without hearing any notices. So we've got a few notices this week. The first one is that although church is closed at the moment, things are still happening. This week in our churchyard, we are going ahead with the levelling. So on Tuesday and Wednesday, the uh, churchyard part next to the church will be scraped and mechanically levelled. And then on Thursday and Friday, we will be sowing some new grass seed and finishing it off by hand. So hopefully next weekend, I'll be able to show you some photos and some videos of all that work that's happening over the next few days. Also in your new sheet, if you've seen it, you will have spotted that there is a good news alert because the Alpha course that was run at Dostill as a result of our own Alpha course running here in Amington, two ladies became Christians on their last evening. And during the session, in fact, they gave their lives to Jesus and were baptised immediately in the church next door, which is wonderful news. So do please, in your prayers, thank God for that wonderful thing. On Sunday evening at seven o'clock, that's tonight, the 22nd of March, there is a national call to prayer. And Christians all over the country are being encouraged to light a candle and put it in their window to show the world that even though we might not be meeting together, God is still hearing our prayers and we are still praying. So at seven o'clock this evening, if you'd like to take part in this, please simply put a candle in your window and say a prayer. Please don't set your curtain on fire. I really don't want to hear the fire engines going around Amington tonight. So please be careful if you do do that. We have a couple of birthdays to celebrate as well. Last week on the 19th, it was Shauna's birthday. And this coming week, it's Irene's birthday on the 25th. So do please wish them many happy returns in whatever way you see fit. And finally, on the back of the new sheet, as I have been putting on, is our Lord's Prayer hand washing guide. So please use that if you wish. Put it up over your sink and uh, make sure you both wash your hands and keep praying. Other resources for daily prayer are available on our website and by email. I'm sending out a daily prayer email every day using our Lent prayer booklet as a guide. And also on our website, you can find links to follow us on Facebook where we'll be posting updates and news and also to subscribe to the YouTube channel where I'm hoping we'll be posting various videos over the coming weeks of various people in the church doing whatever it is you're doing over the week. It'd be great for me to come and find out and uh, see what you're doing. If you have any ideas for how we can support each other during this time, please let me know. I am at home, but I am therefore much more available for answering my phone and emails. So God bless you all. I'll speak to you soon.